Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading for the month of March. Okay, I had to redo the video because there was like a lag going on and it was like driving me crazy. Now, I did take a beat to study or meditate a little bit on your cards and I was getting two camps of Pisces here for your love reading. Here are my two camps. The only two camps that are going to resonate Pisces is the ones that are single as a dollar bill or the ones that are in a relationship right now that they're um they've recently you recently got into this relationship or you've been dating for a minute that it's now you're at this do or die point like if you full blown commit or if you um don't because uh, it, it's very interesting what I see going on in the table anyway we're gonna go ahead and clarify everything Guys, I want to just say quickly thank you for everybody who's been liking and sharing um, my videos and subscribing. Uh, I'm new to YouTube, so I really, truly appreciate um, the subscriptions. And if you feel like this message um, applies to somebody who should hear it, definitely. If you have any Scorpio in your sign, I suggest you go and listen to that reading because that was epic. <laughs> But other than that, yes, go listen to your moon and your rising because your natal makeup is not just one sun sign of Pisces. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But anyway, let's begin. Over here, I got, guys, the Eight of Swords. You feel like somebody's pulling your strings. You feel a little bit stuck. So that was the overall energy I was getting. And it's curious to me. It's like... Why would you feel this way? This is the overall energies for the month of March in love reading. So, you know, this, and up here where you see, it says interference. You feel like somebody's interfering or impeding on your love life. That there are obstacles that are put in your way. So for those of you that are seeing somebody and dating somebody, you like them enough. But maybe you just don't think they're good enough for you to bring home to mom and dad. That's, another, that's a vibe I definitely got. Now for you single folk. You feel like, sorry, my throat was like closing up there. For you single folk, you think that your strings are being pulled by everybody else. Like everyone wants a little piece of you. Everybody wants a piece of, you know, you Pisces. And you're being pulled ragged left and right. And, you know, there's no free time for you. Or there is. And although your body goes out to meet people and to uh, date or whatever, but your mind isn't. It's like... Your mind stays at home, but the body goes out. <laughs> and it's like, you got to put those all together because this is mental. This is feeling that somebody's backed you in a corner. This is you feeling stuck. For both cases, whether you're single or not, you guys feel like somebody's backed you in a corner or you feel that you're stuck. And sometimes I love the Eight of Swords because you know what? I tell myself sometimes, I'm just like, oh, thank God, it's just the Eight of Swords. Why do I say, oh, thank God, it's just the Eight of Swords? She's not even blindfolded in this one. In the other decks, she's blindfolded. and But the swords aren't holding her down. They're not pinning her down. They're not holding her back. There's a solution. So at the end of the day, when I see an eight of swords, I'm like, oh, there's a way out. I just got to figure it out. I just got to figure out the solution, how I can make this all work. Now, let's go ahead and begin. In the beginning of the month, I have the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Let's discuss. First, I'm going to speak to the uh, coupled up folks or those that are dealing with a situation. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. Luck is on your side. Okay, so whatever is going on and that you feel like you might be stuck and that you think it's not going to work out with this partner that you're with, that's all banana talk in your head. Of course it's going to work out. Maybe you think she's not good enough to bring home. Says who? Yeah, you are the one who's living with that person. And the Seven of Pentacles is me telling is telling me you're trying to invest your time with this individual. You're you're investing your energy, your you know, you dating this person and you really believe in it and you're just investing that time with them. And this is the Ace of Pentacles. You making that solid effort to or that solid um offer to your partner to be, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, to get engaged, to maybe get married. This is a definite solid offer. Like, let's let's commit. Let's get this done. Let's get it going. Sorry, I just hear a little bit of yelling outside my window. I'm like, what's going on? Anyway. All right. So for you single Pisces, 
there is definitely something lucky about March, especially in the beginning of March when you go out. Get Invest in yourself. Get dolled up. Look all pretty. And seriously, put your, your head back inside your body and go out together as a package. Because right now, you could be missing opportunities of the, your surroundings. Because let me tell you, the angels and the universe and your guardian... They're all stepping down. All your fates are coming down. They're ascending. They see that you've put effort. They see that they've put time into yourself. They've seen that you've done the work to to ground yourself, to uh, awoken yourself, and into like unpacking like your horrible past. And now they're offering you a solid form relationship, and that's coming pretty much in the beginning of March, my dears. Now let's go on into the middle of um. March here. I have the Three of Cups, the Higher Font, and the Princess of Wands. Let's talk. Okay. First, let's talk about the um, the coupled up uh, Pisces. Three of Cups, there might have been a third person in getting involved in your situation. Now, what do I mean by that? It's you, it's them, and then Nosy Nelly. Or two cents, Sally, <laughs> or, or nosy Ned, whatever it is, they're biting into your life. And this could be mom, this could be dad, this could be your brother or your sister that's getting involved in your business, and it's, it's what's like causing you to have a little bit of a issues. This could also be talking about you. Get, now, this is for the camp that goes forward with the relationship and says, "Yes, I'm going to do this." You go and you celebrate. And this is very much about a relationship because I have the higher font. So this does talk about marriage. So maybe you are celebrating a marriage or unions of some sort with the Princess of Swords. So if you, some of you are dating a fire sign female. So if you Pisces males are watching this video, you could be dating and seeing a, a fire sign female who is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And you really are thinking about committing and, you know, getting married with her. She's not your typical cup of tea. She's not what your family's accustomed to, but you don't care. She's like always the life of the party. And you love her just the same. Now you single folk. You're, you're going to go out and you're, you're going to meet somebody while you're out having a few drinks. And this is somebody that it gets introduced to you by your community, your friends, your place of uh, hanging outness. You are like, this could be, the, the higher font is, could be your church. This could be your um, club. If you, if you have a club membership so, uh, or a community that you're from, they they take you out for drinks, and it could be this fire sign female. If you're a female Pisces, single Pisces watching this, a female fire sign is going to take you out and introduce you to somebody, and you are more or less meeting that individual through her in your community over drinks. If you're a single male Pisces, this hot young thing who's very attractive, very sexy. You can't take your eyes off of her. She's a breath of fresh air. You're all about it. You're all about it. And you and it's the same exact scenario for you uh, singles, male or female. Now, let's see. At the end of the month, I have the hangman. This is you feeling like a little bit, again, this is another card of being stuck, like this card over here. Or, or like some things in your situation. This is for the coupled up folk now. There's a dynamic where it, things are sort of not going well. Like things are feeling tricky, a little bit sticky, a little bit stuck. Trying to find a solution kind of thing. There's something going on and it involves a third party person. Next to that I have the devil. There's a level of toxicity. There's somebody who's also obsessed. Obsessed with you or you are obsessed with them. Where they are obsessed with your partnership. Somebody's obsessing over your partnership. Uh, Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles was coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. The first thing I heard over here was old money. So I don't know if some of you come from old money or you have money or your family has money. And then this could be the issue or the situation as to why there's like uh, stuff going down between you and the person you're dating. Maybe they think that they're not the same caliber as you or vice versa. You are not at the caliber of old family money here. 
And they're a little bit like, oh, this is my money, this is my coin, and you need to meet somebody with the same level of coin. It's something to that level. Now, you know, if you're the single folk here, you, you first of all, this is the card of Pisces, and we're in Pisces season, so happy birthday, Pisces. Okay, let's see that. And this is just you, like, feeling stuck, like, um, trying to figure out a solution, uh, a different solution of, like, you're, you're sitting here thinking, like, okay, is there another way I can meet people? Is there another way I can go out and just date and change my dynamic so I can meet somebody? And some of you are just obsessing over it, like, you're, you're getting obsessed with the, the notion or the idea. And, you know, because you are looking for your overall happiness, but you're also afraid of, like, uh, spending money. You know, going out does cost something. It's no free lunch for nobody. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's see what's going on. I'm going to clarify and really find out what's going on. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of... Thank you. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Nine of Swords in Reverse. You guys, the wheel is turning in your favor because you, th this has been an issue and on your mind for quite a while. You haven't been sleeping and I, I don't care if this is upright or upside down. The messages were the same. Now, you have been, for you single folk, you've been single for a while now. And those of you who recently met somebody and you want to take it to the next level, but there's a concern in the relationship, this has been, you know, causing you to not sleep at night. This is the clarifier. This is what is. Luck is definitely on your side. You know, just don't think that you can't make, you. it's like you can't bring this person home or whatever the case is, whatever the scenario is, why you think that you can't have this relationship. Like why you think they might not be accepted or something like that, guys. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Thank you. You invested time and energy into this relationship. You're really thinking about marrying this person too because they bring out the sun in you. You know, sometimes the sun can also talk about clinginess or needing a little bit of space. Sometimes space in the, the relationship or space in a marriage if you're married, but this is you wanting to get married and finding your overall happiness if you're single. If you're single, you've invested in yourself. And you want to find your overall true happiness by, you know, finding your your mate to get married. Those coupled up folks, you you know, you are, you have invested in time and energy regarding this person. And now it's either like you get married or you don't. I mean, I don't need to talk any further regarding that matter for you coupled up folk. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? You bet your bottom butt, whether you're single or you're in a relationship, Archangel Michael is stepping in to bring you this blessing. They're bringing you this new relationship. They're restoring the balance of said relationship. This was faded. This was definitely meant to happen to you guys. Let's not stress that anymore. It's perfectly just the way it is. Why is Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Please clarify Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? One more shuffle. Why is the Three of Cups here, please? Thank you. Yeah, there's somebody in your family that's getting involved in your relationship for you coupled up folk. There is definitely somebody that is a third person that's you know, overly, you know, getting involved in your situation. This is the card of the family, the happy rainbow, the skittles in the sky, the happy ever after, the unicorns and the butterflies. But when I have a third person here, it's like third person point of view. You single folk, you're you're going out and you're celebrating and you're meeting somebody over drinks. It's very much you meeting somebody through a family member or your community, period, the end. Because to me, friends are family. So, and, and if your community, if you, if you live in a community and there's like a hundred of you guys like that, that's your family too. So you're, you're meeting through drinks somewhere in your environment, your happy home environment, you're going to meet somebody. Cocktails involved is all I know. And family and friends is all I know. 
the higher fall. Why is the higher fall here? It's it's from it's familiar surroundings also is what I'm getting. The higher font. Why is the higher font here? The higher font is marriage, getting married, being part of a community, church, um, relationships. I have the world and the star in reverse. Okay, so let's talk about the coupled up folk that are having issues within their relationship. Now, you're trying to start a new chapter in your life, a new cycle in your life. You want to get married. You want to deal with this marriage or even if you're, you know, somebody who might even end it, you just want to do something and move on with your life to start a new chapter in your life. But I have the star in reverse, either somebody that's an Aquarius, you're dealing with an Aquarius, or for some reason, you're losing hope, you're losing faith regarding the scenario, regarding the situation. Same thing with you single folk, you're losing faith, you're losing hope in starting a new chapter in your life. Don't do that. Don't you dare do that. Don't do that. Always have faith. I mean, the Hierophants here, it's on its way. Princess of Wands. And for you, single folk, single uh, female, this, this Princess of Wands is bringing into you. Uh, you male Pisces are having this individual in your life or meeting her. Princess of Wands, Princess of Wands, Princess of Wands. Boom. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, you single folk are meeting somebody out of the clear blue sky. Like you weren't even expecting it. It's just going to happen. So the tower, I know a lot of you follow Tarot and you're all like, oh, no, the tower. It's a disaster. It's like... You know, some of you, it could be a divorce and whatever, but it's a foundational crack, but it also means out of nowhere. It's like it was sunny one second and then the storms rolled in and poof, it was like there was lightning everywhere. But it's also lightning bulb ideas, lightning bulb moments, things that just happen out of nowhere. So this, either those of you in a relationship that are coupled up, you boom, break up and she walks away and she, she finds out the truth that you are holding her back from something. And then she just walks away. And then the whole thing just blows up in your face out of nowhere. Um, for those of you who are single and meeting somebody, it just says out of nowhere, like a lightning storm. They ride right in They're Just like, how did you get here? How'd you appear in my life? It just, they just, uh, shockingly just came out of nowhere that's all that means for you uh guys for the single folk the hangman why is the hangman here you feeling stuckish my little piscians my little fishies i have the hangman oh if i could like hug you guys internet hug <laughs> youtube hug <laughs> okay all right yeah you're feeling serious the, let's talk about the coupled up the ones that are dealing with the relationship not knowing what to do you're feeling really guilty about it. Like, you're feeling really shitty, too. Pisces. This is clarifying the hangman. That's why you feel stuck. And that's why you're upside down, trying to think of different things. You feel really sorry for them, for the situation that... You really are thinking about separating. You really feel guilty about letting them go. Because they, whatever dynamic is going on with a third-party situation in your life, that third party is superseding the situation. Uh, for you single folk... This is just telling me like you're so tired of being staying at home. You finally do this at the end of March, probably because April when spring starts soon enough and the weather starts getting warm. You're like you're finally getting out there and you're feeling a little bit happier. But this telling me if you, you feeling a little bit like guilty and um, remorseful that you've like um, that you have been like down in the dumps, like you have been sulking. That you have been home stuck. You've you've been sulking. You've been, this is the sulking card. He's sulking. This is spilled milk card. No more. Go out with that fire sign, friend. <laughs> Why is the devil here? The devil. Please clarify the devil. Okay, guys. Now, um, for the devil card, you, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, I don't know, but 
it's clarified by the nine of cups in reverse so those who have been obsessing over their scenario for the couples now for the couple if you've been obsessing over this situation in the scenario should you stay should you go should you i don't know whatever or they're obsessing with you you know this all of a sudden feels as if like your wish fulfillment you lost your wish fulfillment because even in the upside down position the reverse it's still a good card because it means it's not completely gone like you can turn this upright because this is wish fulfillment for me all the nines are talk about the individual the and your individuality so individually you as a person you personally feel like you've lost all your wishes and you know like your your wishes is not coming true and, and you know because you've been obsessing over this doesn't mean you can't fix the scenario but if you feel like it's not working out anymore, definitely, by all means, let the other person go because they've got a, you're dealing with another soul. You know, it's your free will, but don't manipulate their free will either. Let them go if you're going to let them go, you know, so they can find their true north, their true happiness and you too. So you could turn this up right. But because there's this lack of obsession going on, there's this, this is why it's empty. Now, single folk, same story. You're obsessing about the dating scene or going out or you're obsessing over yourself that you're not good enough, you're not this, you're not that. I don't know about all that garbage because that's garbage. But that's why you're not finding your wish fulfillment. But but the fact that this card shows up, it means it's out there. It's, it's, it's about to be given to you. It's about to turn upright. You just need to stop that level of toxicity that you, you're telling yourself. And that you're anguishing over the fact that you haven't found anybody. Or at least your person or the right person. So they can give you this wish fulfillment. Now last but not least, this Ten of Pentacles, which I found interesting. This old money. Somebody's of old money. Or, you know, you single folk you um you're holding the purse strings of the families but you're you're clutching them too tightly you could also have money too if your family has money um for single folk but let's see what it means for both of you guys ten of pentacles and four of pentacles what's going on here guys there i'm okay i'm hearing for somebody there somebody's being miserly I don't know if you were dating somebody that was miserly and they were like pinching their coins or they were just at this level of immaturity. Some of you also could have like left the other person because they had a child and you just thought because, you know, you're single and you don't have kids, you could go ahead and, you know, meet somebody else that doesn't have kids because maybe the other person that you're dating is a single parent and that was like impeding on you and this is why you wanted to break up with them. Um, for those of you that are single, you're, you're dipping your toe out there. Um, and you're, you're starting to bloom. You're starting to unfold. But I think that there is some form of somebody coming in in March. And at the end of March, it's going to slowly start budding. Cause I keep seeing a little flower and it just like budding open like this for you guys, just like he's holding that coin. It's, it's starting to bud open. So I find it very interesting. Um, let me just get one more card. Universe Angel Spirit Guides for... Okay. That'll be that. That will be that. And it just went boom. Success. So I think this is this level of success for you guys. If you're coupled or single, whatever you decide to do, you're going to be able to ride in on your high horse. So even if you do decide to move forward with the relationship, it will be fine. If you break up with them, then it was meant to be because there's a level of success here. When you put yourself out there, single folk, you will be successful. Now, Universe Angel Spirit Guides. What are the messages for the Pisces? Did something? Oh, the Page of Pentacles fell down. That's all right. I'll grab it later. Yes, for you coupled folk. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And here's the interesting two cards that fell out before. This is time out from relationship. Time out from marriage. Time out from relationship. Time out from partner. Time out from something. Sun is time out. This is relationship. This is separation. You're definitely going to take a beat. 
And the other card is let go of control issues. Jesus, I was just saying this to you guys. You can't be upset. Like, allow this situation to unfold naturally for you single folk. Yeah, I need you not to be obsessed or obsessive or feeling like it's never going to happen for me. Or where, where the hell did I see this? This I don't ever want to see. The star in reverse, guys. I'm not feeling hopeless. No hope in this situation. Nope. Let things organically play out. You don't need to control the situation. Pisces, this was an excellent reading. The, I, I see nothing but optimism here. Because at the end of the day, this is what unfolds. That's all that there is. Okay, Pisces. I'll see you back in April. Bye.